artificial intelligence has been making waves for several years now. I remember back in 2018 when I was just getting into AI, the advent of machine learning and deep learning tech was quite mind-blowing in itself. But there's been no doubt that since then, AI has only developed further, and since late 2022 to most of 2023, it's become more widely popularized through the advent of ChatGPT, Google Bard, and generative AI. These days, AI is being used in a wide range of industries and applications. More than you know, it is implemented everywhere, helping businesses improve efficiency, productivity, innovation. It's going to be those who are staying on top of the game and handling AI that are able to remain ahead in this workforce. So as such, I'll take a look at the expected AI trends to look out for in 2024 and what we can expect to see coming soon. So, but before we do that, please make sure to like this video it helps stir that algorithm to share it to more people. And if you can, make sure to subscribe to this channel so I can help you discover more about AI tools, tips, and tricks to navigate the future digital world. So looking at the past year in review, 2023 was quite big in AI, especially for generative AI. For one, Google launched BARD, their own generative AI tool and competitor to ChatGPT. From generating text to translating images, BARD served as a great counterpart to ChatGPT, especially for research. I go into a more detail about comparing the pros and cons for each in another video, which you can check out at the top right. While ChatGPT got released last year in 2022, we spent the better half of 2023 refining its models and even upgrading to GPT-4, and then its response time became even more powerful, its answers more extensive, more custom instructions being able to be fed into it and with its release being open to the public we saw a plethora of extensions apps and upgrades and ais being created from their platform in march 2023 microsoft actually announced that it was investing 10 billion dollars into open ai their company that made jetpd so this investment would then help OpenAI to continue to develop new innovative AI technologies. So it's going to be exciting to see where ChatGPT, DALI, and other generative AI platforms will go. AI was also a great year for drug and therapy companies as the company DeepMind announced that it had discovered a new antibiotic using AI. The new antibiotic is effective against a variety of drug-resistant bacteria and is currently in preclinical trials. Overall, 2023 was the breakout year for generative AI. We can already see from the graph that there are plenty of industries reporting that they are using generative AI tools in their respective fields. So while I won't go into every single milestone that AI has hit this past year, these are some of the top trends that we should be on the lookout for for the next upcoming 2024. Generative AI advances. So talking about generative AI's breakout year, it's expected that 2024 will continue to advance on this technology. Right now, there are tons of AI image generators with some of the top mentioned in another video. Even when we look at exploding topics, we can see that the search trend for generative AI definitely reflects this increasing interest in the topic. Up till 2020 or to 2022, most of the AI we had was based on predictive analytics, where we would feed the AI model some data and as a result would provide us some insights on that said data set. That was all there was really to it. It was particularly useful for business analytics, but only if we knew what to feed it and where to look. Generative AI, on the other end, is now leveraging machine learning to create original output based on patterns as learned from trained data. This includes AI-generated texts, so tools like JetGPT, Bard, and others that allow you to write out long forms of content, making the lives of content writers and creators much more easy. Then there's AI-generated images. These are tools like Midjourney and Stable Diffusion, DALI. These are creating images from scratch based on descriptive prompts. AI-generated audio, which are tools that are producing music or imitating the voices of people just through a couple of prompts alone. We even seen this blow up in the music industry with cases like Drake or Bad Bunny. Then there's AI-generated video, tools like Synthasia that are able to create presentations of AI-made people. So with all that being said, it's expected that in 2024, generative AI will go to the next level, making even better quality text, voice, images, music, and video. And by the end of the year, we might be at a point where, eerily enough, it may be hard to distinguish between what is a real person and an AI-made media content. Then there's low-code development. With generative AI being able to create code in an instant, it's no surprise that low-code or no-code platforms, which are apps that you can use to develop applications with little to no coding, will get a bump up. In fact, 
tech site Gartner predicted that low-code applications would gather more than 65% of all app development functions by the end of 2024, where roughly 66% of big companies would be using several low-code platforms at a given time. One of the main reasons for this is because with low-code, no-code platforms, you are able to develop faster, as most low-code or no-code platforms have pre-built templates ready to click, drag, and drop. They also come up with visual interfaces that you can even customize a bit to enable the rapid development of applications. This significantly reduces the time required to bring a concept to life. It's also very easy to use. As you can see, most of these platforms are pretty easy and self-explanatory. They have intuitive interfaces that are meant to help non-programmers build quickly and proficiently. This opens up a huge range of people to enter a business and develop what they wish. And it's also cost effective. For solopreneurs and entrepreneurs getting started, using low-code, no-code is particularly useful and quite cost effective as it saves you the time to hire expensive developers to actually build your product. This doesn't necessarily mean that there will be no use of developers as you'll always need some development work if your business scales, but at least in the starting phase, it saves a lot in terms of time and resources. And it will also empower entrepreneurs. As I mentioned, these platforms enable people with specific domain knowledge looking to build an app to create functional MVPs quickly and steadily. Then there is the next trend of multimodality AI. As you can tell from social media platforms, the modern person is constantly seeking to interact with content on a richer scale these days. What I mean by this is since our attention spans have shrunk due to the prevalence of shorts, with the content we consume being optimized for quick digestion, our threshold for how we want to interact with content will only increase. We no longer want to just interact with content through reactions, emotions, and shares. So far, AI models have focused on processing information via single modality. What this means is we input a text prompt and we get an output of text, or we put in a text and we get an image. But in 2024, as generative AI tech advances, we may be entering a world of multimodality, where the AI models can turn our prompts into more than one medium. Text to image, images to video, text to audio, text to video, images to video, and so on. I mean, we're already beginning to see the start of it now. But in 2024, this is expected to get even crazier. And then there's the AI augmented workplace. With all of this change, it's only natural that the workplace will become augmented with AI professionals. We've already seen the news about the rise of prompt engineers. But in 2024, we may begin to see the demand for other AI specialists like Gen AI specialists, AI ethicists, and more. The point here is that the workplace is recognizing the productive aspects of AI. If you remember from the earlier graph, many workplaces by industry are experimenting with AI. But as 2024 hits, the substantial benefits are going to get clear. And as that occurs, we're going to be needing more people that understand and know how to implement AI. Of course, then there's that continued talk of AI replacing jobs. While it may replace some redundant ones, it's also going to open up an opportunity for people to scale and evolve. According to a recent report by Goldman Sachs, AI is expected to trigger a productivity boom, increasing the total annual value of global goods and services by 7%. And as it happens, the workforce will naturally be required to adapt, and it's those who adapt that will survive. This is where skills that can be done by AI will become obsolete and automated, while others' soft skills such as emotional intelligence, creativity, and adaptability will be of greater importance. Then there's the importance of AI ethics and regulation. Of course, one thing that we need to speak on is how AI is being used in a negative way. With every new tech, there are bad actors using these tools in a negative way. Whether it's deepfakes, the spread of misinformation, inaccurate statements and content, and general bias and data. Right now, the AI space is like the Wild West. There are no rules or regulations. But as legislation begins to take note of the impending force of AI everywhere, we might begin to see growing need for AI ethics and regulation to come into play in 2024. In fact, there are initiatives already advocating for it, with the EU leading the regulatory fund. In April 2023, the European Commission unveiled a proposal for a new AI regulation. The proposed regulation is still under negotiation, but it is expected to be finalized in 2024. AI will continue evolving. So these are just a few of the examples of the larger AI trends to take note of in 2024. So since this space is evolving rapidly and constantly, it's hard to truly predict what the next innovative AI tech is going to be at the forefront, which is why I want to avoid speculation and give more of a generalized outlook of what's to come. This way, with that in mind, you can start to think about how to evolve yourself and become a bit more adaptive and future-proof, leveraging and learning AI. What is undoubtedly certain is that as 2024 comes, and every year thereafter, there will be an increased investment in AI research and development where governments and businesses will begin to invest more money into AI. 
As this happens, more developers and businesses will be able to build on new AI algorithms. And then there's the rise of cloud computing, which has been happening for years now. With cloud computing, it's going to make it even easier for businesses to develop and deploy AI applications. And of course, the more data we put out there, the larger data sets will have to train the AI algorithms and thus refining them. And as these models get smarter and fuller, there will be even more personalization targeted as, as consumers. So if you liked this video and it was pretty useful for you, make sure to like the video so it can be spread by the algorithm to other people to continue educating more about AI. And if you want to continue to learn more about AI trends, tools, tips, and tricks, make sure to subscribe to this channel and we'll see you again.